Good morning, boys and girls. Today I'm here to talk to you about vowel teams and how two vowels walking side by side can work together. But before we get started, I have a special guest or two that I'd like you to meet. Okay, boys and girls, those goats can be pretty funny. And there's a good reason that I was showing you goats. The word goat is spelled G-O-A-T. But you don't hear the A, do you? That's because O and A are vowel teams. And if those goats could really talk, I think they'd want you to learn how to use vowel teams. I think that they would tell you that when vowel teams go walking, the first one does the talking. So I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of how that works. So first I'm just going to use my trusty cookie sheet here and my letter magnets. And you can see that I have O and A ready to go. O is the first letter, and so that's the sound that we're going to hear. All I need to do is add a beginning sound and an ending sound, and then I'll create my word. First sound, middle sound, end sound. Put it all together. Goat. Now, if I change my beginning sound, I've changed my word. First sound, b. Middle sound, o. And sound. T. B. O. T. Boat. Let's try another one. O. T. Now you try it. Now, of course, it doesn't always have to end in a T. Bull, O, loaf. You try it. I hope you said loaf. 
Now, O and A are not the only vowel teams we have. There are tons of vowel teams. So let me introduce you to just a couple more. AI is a very popular vowel team. Even though vowel teams are different, the rule stays the same. The first vowel does the talking, the second one just walking. So when I see A and I together between two consonants, it's going to do the long A sound. So AI says A. Let's put a beginning and end sound. Ale. Pale. You try it. Good. I'm going to change that beginning sound again. Ale. Tail. Very good. How about a couple more? Mm -hmm. Ale. Male. And how about nail? Nail. Now again, it doesn't always have to be an A an L at the end. The trick is the AI in the middle. So when we're reading whole words, it's important to look at the whole word and read the whole way through. That's how we know that the A and the I together are going to say A. We don't want to go N, A, I, O. We want to see that vowel team together and know that it is just one singular sound. And that would be the long A sound. This one's a little trickier because it has a blend at the beginning, but it still works the same way. And I wanted you to see how AI works the same way, even though my end sound is different. T, er, a, t, trait. A trait is a characteristic. Sometimes we have traits that are passed on from moms and dads to kids. Like for instance, I have blue eyes and so do my children. That's a trait that I passed on. T, er, a, t, trait. Good job. Let's look at another vowel team. This one is E-A. Remember the rule, when two go walking, the first one does the talking. So when I see E-A together, it's going to say E. Very good. So let's put a beginning sound and an end sound. E -t seat. You try it. In this case, we can take the S away. One of my favorite pastimes. Did you say eat? If you did, you were right. How about mmm? Eat meat. You try it. Good job. I think after all of that hard work, you deserve a t er. Eat. Did you say treat? If you did, you're right. 
Okay, boys and girls, now we're gonna try something different. We're gonna do a scavenger hunt. If you can read these words, see if you can go and find them. Take a break, come back with your items and see if you read these words correctly. Okay, boys and girls, let's see if you read them correctly. Did you find a nail? Maybe you found a nail. Either one will work. Did you find some mail? I love to get mail, how about you? How about a coat? Did you find a coat? And last but not least, how about a leaf? If you found those four objects, you read your four words correctly. Look at them again. Nail, mail, coat, and leaf. Good job, boys and girls. I'm very proud of you. We're gonna to end today's lesson with a story about snail hits the trail. In this story, you'll see a lot of AI words. Remember that vowel team. See if you can find those words and pick them out. Here we go, boys and girls. Snail hits the trail. Chapter one. Once upon a time, on the banks of an African bay, there lived 100 snails. The snails spent their day wending their way from the land to the bay and back again. Did you see AI? The snails were content to slug from sunup to sunset, day after day. All of the snails, that is, but Ray. Ray complained and complained. If I had legs, I would hit the trail. If I had wings, I would sail into the air. I would visit distant lands if I were not stuck as a snail. The rest of the snails felt that Ray's complaints were in vain. Once a snail, a lot, once a snail, always a snail they would say, but they did suspect that Ray was a little different in a way. Ray had a trait no snail could explain. The trails left by the rest of the snail's tails were a dull gray, but the trail left by Ray's tail was a rainbow. Look at those AI words in there, tail, Rainbow. Chapter two. One day, Ray was training to slug and slip faster. No pain, no gain, he huffed as he strained, but Ray was not a bit faster. Ray could not contain himself. He flopped onto the sand and flailed and wailed in dismay. Just then, an African gray parrot landed next to him. Tell me your pains, he said. I'm a slug of a snail, Ray sniffled and snuffled. I will never be fast and get away. I will end up stuck on the banks of this bay for the rest of my days. My granddad parrot has a saying. If there's a will, there's a way, he says. If you dwell on the fact that you are stuck, you will always remain stuck. But you can train your brain to invent different ways to travel. If you do not have legs, get legs, get wings, get into and onto things. I get it, said Ray. It was as if a ray of sun had lit on his brain. From then on, 
Ray went about things in a very different way. Chapter three, what do you think Ray is going to do? Will he really learn to fly? The next day, Ray slugged his way to the bay with the rest of the snails. He crept up next to a man who was explaining that he was getting on a train. Ray did not delay. He snuck into the man's backpack. He tucked himself in next to the man's cameras and waited. Oh, there's another AI word. Clack, clack, clack went the train on its tracks. When the man was tucked in his bed, Ray crept from the backpack. The wind swept past. Ray had never traveled so fast. As the train sped over the land, Ray could not contain himself. Out of happiness, he wept. The next day, Ray hid himself on the brim of the man's hat. Do you see him? What a vista Ray had from where he sat. Vista means view. There was a big rainbow blimp waiting to sail up into the air. The man's camera lens went snap, snap, snap. When the man went up to the blimp and stepped in, Ray just about fell from the man's hat's brim. This must be my lucky day, Ray exclaimed. Up into the air, the blimp lifted. The man snapped his camera at the animals on the grasslands as they drifted. Ray felt he had been gifted. He did not understand that so many animals existed. The blimp was drifting over hills of volcanic rock by midday. The volcanic lava was hot and red, and it bubbled and sprayed. What a display! Ray could not wait to tell the snails back at the bay. When the blimp landed on a cab, it was waiting to pick up the man, but it was not long until the cab got stuck in a traffic jam. I'm going to miss my next trip, the man complained. The cab driver honked and yelled, but in vain. Ray was glad in a way that snails did not have to travel fast and get into traffic jams. At last, the cab stopped next to a boat named the Hail Gale. The man paid the cab driver and jumped onto the boat and sailed away. Did you catch those words? Paid? And even boat is a wild team. Chapter four. Ray was glad to rest in the man's cabin when he left his hat and went to dinner. The sailboat bobbed on the swells as the sun set. As the wind picked up, Ray began to fret. Ray felt afraid. Would he get back to his bay again? If there's a will, there's a way, Ray thought he heard the parrot say. And Ray drifted off for a nap as the sailboat began to sway. Suddenly, Ray was up. The sailboat was swaying and it was raining. It was not long until the sailboat was rocking and it was hailing. The wind gusted and the sail ripped from the mast. Ray had to get away. The man ran into the cabin and grabbed his camera bag and his hat and Ray and ran onto the deck into the wind and the hail and the spray. The sailors yelled, bail, bail, as they bailed with their pails. They were bailing the water out of the boat. Just then, the wind gusted a big gust that lifted the man's hat up and over the rails. The hat landed in the bay. Ray held on to the brim as the hat tossed and rocked and swayed. Ray felt that this must be it. It was the end. He would never be back to his bay again. He held on to the brim of the hat and waited. He was afraid. 
and in dismay, he fainted. No, who's coming to rescue me? Chapter five. It's Ray, it's Ray! Ray heard his snail say. The sun was up and Ray was back on the bank of his bay. Had his trip just been a dream? Then Ray spotted the man's hat. He had a fantastic trip and he was back. Ray slugged the rest of his days with the rest of the snails without complaint. As he slugged, he left his rainbow trail and filled the rest of the snail's brains with tales of his trips to lands far away. And when snails asked him if they could fulfill their dreams, Ray could tell them, if there's a will, there's a way. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you have time, go back through and look at it again. There's another vowel team in there that was used an awful lot. I'll give you a hint. Why is sometimes a vowel that opens my throat? Have a good day, boys and girls.